Hi, uh, this video is actually uh, put together uh, or will be put together of different small videos. So uh, today I'm uh, with the camera trap again. I got a new box for the second camera. So I will set up the second camera today. And then I think I will uh, every time when I walk up here just to check the camera trap, uh, changing batteries, changing memory cards, see if I got any kind of image. I will uh, do a short video and then I will put it together to a little longer video. So when you see this video, uh, there are already some, uh, been gone uh, several weeks before I will post it. So I, and then you will see uh, how it works and uh, how often I walked up uh, and how long time it takes before I might get the image and so on. So now I'm going to set up the second camera. Yes, now I, uh, I placed my second camera, the day camera and the night camera. Uh, the first change I did done with the night camera too is that I, uh, I used the other tripod now. This tripod I uh, uh, used first for the flash. Now I uh, just uh, put a wood here, a tree, to uh, connect the flash on, on, on that one and use it, uh, this bigger tripods for the boxes. Uh, the smaller tripod works fine, but it's more difficult to get the right angle and get it in, in the right uh, angle I want. Uh, so the bigger ones are a little bit easier to, uh, to work with. And uh, when it's starting snowing and the snow level rises, it's uh, also good to have these uh, higher, uh, these bigger ones and then I can uh, get the camera higher up. The other thing I changed with the night camera, uh, now I uh, used a shorter tube. Uh, if you saw the first video where I placed this box, uh, this tube is now on the day camera. This tube was a little bit too long uh, because uh, the transmitter was in the way. Um, and uh, thank you very much for Jim Shanks who uh, commented on this video that uh, if you go on the website or on Camp Directions you uh, will find which tube you need if you use the transmitters. So I have now the right uh, right uh, tube for it. And also thanks for Best Pictures who said I could choose use a uh, horseshoe cable which I just right now use with this uh, day camera. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, everything uh, works uh, fine now. Uh, this one flash is not working. I had one issue with uh, this flash, which is now connected to the day camera. Uh, I had for the night camera. 
uh, and uh, the transmitter and the receiver they had contact you saw it on the light and everything works but the flash wouldn't uh, release so now I change it with the other model of my flash this flash and uh, it works for the night camera and it's very important for me at the night camera to have the flash I also use a flash on my day camera but this flash right now it doesn't work but I anyway set it up just for a test run a battery check and uh, I will change it uh, next week and when I coming back uh, then I will uh, do uh, take the same kind of flash which I have now with the night camera and hoping uh, it works so uh, now I'm uh, ready to for the winter season and hopefully uh, the lynx uh, arrives Good morning. Um, I'm back with my camera trap. Uh, now my camera trap has been here for around two months, uh, and uh, today I'm going uh, to change the batteries uh, and the memory cards and see if uh, my cameras uh, caught something. Uh, I'm just uh, uh, came from uh, the cabin. Uh, and if you saw uh, the video I released one week ago with the reindeers uh, this morning the reindeers uh, uh, or the most of the video I, I've done yesterday but this morning uh, there were new reindeers just outside the cabin and um, in this weather they were covered with snow really nice the background was not perfect but uh, I believe I got uh, a few nice images and when I got up here, I saw a lot of traces of reindeers, so I might have... Uh, oh, there's a plastic bag. One moment! Oh. I had this plastic bag over the, the vlogging camera, so it's not ca got covered by snow, but uh, it doesn't uh, stick on the camera. Um, so I might have uh, a few images of the reindeers up here because there were a lot of traces of the reindeers. So we will see. But anyway, I have been, I think that's not the third time I walked up here after I put it up. Uh, 
and now it's time for me to change batteries and memory cards and uh, see uh, what I got on my memory card. So. Oh, you see, there's a, you see in the corner the flash, so this I had to, uh, that was stupid of me, uh, I had to do something with the flash, I had to put a little more behind. Uh, oh. oh, there was a reindeer, okay, ah, there, there are several reindeers here. Oh, the battery is 50% or a little bit under 50% probably. So uh, after after um, almost two months or two months, uh, the battery is just 50%. So that's that's good. Uh, let me see. Now I just uh, change the battery and uh, and set it up again. Okay, let's check the other camera, the day camera. Probably the day camera I will soon uh, take in and just have one camera out here. Um, because right now uh, the days get short and shorter and soon it will get really, really uh, dark. So the camera won't really work. Uh, it's too dark. Let me see if there. It seems that this camera is empty for power. Oh, well, let me see. No? Oh, it's almost empty for power. Okay, the day camera. Oh, there are some pictures of me. Oh, there's one reindeer in snow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now I changed uh, batteries uh, on my cameras and the memory cards and uh, changed batteries uh, f uh, with both flashes. So now they have uh, new batteries and should work uh, for around uh, two months around. Um, but anyway, uh, I will go regularly up here and uh, may change batteries earlier. Uh, the trigger, I didn't need to change any batteries, the batteries were still uh, good. So, uh, and I done a check, everything is uh, working right now. Uh, I also changed uh, batteries for my trail cam, and now I'm just looking forward to get down to the cabin and see uh, if I got some uh, nice images of uh, the reindeers.